What's up guys, John here and with Big Drew. Some basic things, right? So I guess having physical activity should be number one. Right? Yeah, some type of movement. You don't want to be sitting around all day. Uh, you don't have to go to a gym necessarily, but you want to be moving around. If you're doing landscaping outside all day or roofing, you got plenty of moving around. Right. But if you're at a desk or a cubicle, a lot of people right now are working from home. So a lot of people are gaining 30 pounds from working at home. If you have enough time on your lunch break, go for a walk around your neighborhood or have a gym membership you can go to. You only really need 30 to 45 minutes. Right. Um, if you're a hardcore bodybuilder, you may need more time. But for the average person, you only need 30 minutes to maybe an hour at the gym. Yeah. But you can get it again, walking around your house, doing yard work. You don't want to sit all around all day and then sit around all night. Nope. That's like the worst thing you can do. That's the worst. You know, people talk about getting in shape. You know? yeah. Yeah, because my in shape may not be the same as his in shape or her in shape. A lot of times people go to college and they don't know what their major is yet. I'm, I highly disagree with that. I feel like you're going to spend your money and go to college. You should know what you want to do when you get there. Yeah. So it's the same thing whether you go to the gym, whether you go to the, uh, the aerobics class, or whether you do your workout at home, have a goal, figure out what you want to do before you get there. Don't just say, I want to get in shape. Say, I want a flatter stomach. Or if you're a guy, you may want bigger arms or a bigger chest. You figure out what you want, and then it's a lot easier to get there. If you just want to get in shape, you don't have specific goals, you're going to be talking to five or six different people, giving you five or six different information on what their, their version of in shape is. Yep. Whatever your version of in shape is to you, a healthy in shape, yep. figure out what it takes to get there and do that. You don't want to just step into a gym and just be like, I'm here, that's good enough. I hear a lot of people say, I made it to the gym today. Oh, congratulations, as long as you're here. I disagree with that. Don't waste your time if you're going to go there and not work out. It took me about, I'd probably say 10 to 15 years to really trial and error my body, experiment what I eat now. Now I really only eat, like, like John, he's simple, I'm simple. Yeah. I really only eat maybe five things, and I just eat those accordingly. And the best thing is, is don't get processed foods. Try to get as much all natural, organic, or non-genetically modified foods. I mean, it's another big thing. So, or even certain things, a lot of times people don't realize, like canned vegetables or canned fruit. Um, I'm, I've been in the fitness industry a while, so it's yeah. kind of like we all know yeah. that you're not supposed to eat canned vegetables, but a lot of people don't know that. Right. So I do diets for a lot of people. They, I say green beans, they go buy a can of green beans. Yeah. Absolutely not. Yeah. There's sodium packed in there that's going to make them preserve. You're, you're losing the nutrients of it, and you're getting sodium in so It's really not good. When you have vegetables, they should be frozen, or they should be fresh. And the frozen vegetables, when you read the ingredients, the only ingredient should be what that vegetable is That's or right. that fruit is. So if you get green beans on the back of the bag, it'll say ingredients. It should only say green beans. That's it. If you see a long paragraph, put it back on the show. You feel great. It's true. Like I, I've tested this theory out where it's like I gave myself a week break after really training really hard for like four or five months straight. Gave myself one week off for like a vacation. And literally came back and I was like, oh man, I'm like, I'm not going to be as strong. I'm going to lose weight. What's going on here? And it was just the opposite. So you should be waking up refreshed every day. If you're not waking up refreshed, there's a problem, a deficiency, something else that's going on in the game. Enjoy an unstressful time out there, just relaxing. No phone, no nothing. Have a good time with the friends and the family. So I encourage you guys to go out there and get it yourself. And remember the great tips from me and Big Drew. Thanks, guys.